So different people choose anti-wrinkle injections for different reasons. You may notice at a young age that you're starting to line if you're particularly expressionful and you may feel as though some of those lines are aging you before um, you're ready for those to be there. So you may choose to, to lose a line or two. Other people don't want to lose every single line. They want to show a bit of character and they may just want to soften their look so that they look a bit fresher and feel a bit smarter and it all adds to building your own self-confidence. The Botox injections are done with a very fine needle and it's just a couple of little injections into the key muscles so that we can create freshness of the face. Um, essentially what normally happens when you create an expression is the muscle folds your skin and by doing that several times a day we create creases in the skin. What Botox is doing is keeping the muscle very still so that it can't fold the skin and the skin has time to recover so the lines will soften. Most of the side effects are to do with the way in which we give you the Botox. So we're using a very fine needle and obviously because we're putting that needle into the skin you're going to get a little bit of bleeding. Um, you might get anything from a faint red hue to what looks a little bit more like a little raised mosquito bite but it's very very temporary and settles usually within a matter of minutes. Um, it's not totally uncommon to get a bruise but bruising tends to be very small with Botox if it's going to occur. Um, also there are some less common side effects that can happen but we try and minimise the risk of those by being very precise with where we place the Botox needle. Once you've had a Botox treatment it's recommended that you move the muscles that have been injected for an hour so for example if you've had round the eyes injected you want to do lots and lots of smiling that helps to activate the Botox in the key muscle that we've targeted it at. We also usually advise that for a couple of days you avoid doing activities that make you very hot and avoid any alcohol for two days as well um, and it's just staying upright for a couple of hours so it's, it's very minimal aftercare, usually most people go about their day to day lives as normal. It's nice to be able to sort of freshen yourself up and um, usually you'll find that the improvement happens gradually day by day so it's not like you're going to wake up one day and feel very very drastically different to what you did the day before which is quite nice because you see a gradual improvement in your skin. Immediately after treatment you should feel perfectly fit and well able to go about your normal day. Um, it's as I say it's uncommon for it to really cause any major issues. If you're a brand new user to Botox injections sometimes you can feel slightly headachey which can be treated as normal with paracetamol. We tailor every treatment to the individual, so we would never um, do a certain treatment on absolutely every individual. We'd target it with what you're after. So if you're just wanting to, to soften a few lines rather than go for total freshness, and um, we would do that, whereas other people might like to be more still, and we can achieve that as well. So we'd very much talk to you about what you're after, look at the muscles on your face, and then make up a sport plan for you.